What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna do a little bit of a grocery haul kitchen tour. Show you guys everything I've been eating and doing. I don't think I showed you guys any of this new house, new kitchen yet. So you'll get a little bit, little bit of a tour. So at my dining room table, I have my masticum that I have with pretty much every meal. Guys, this is like a light antimicrobial. We have it on organsupplements.com. Glass bottle, mineral water with every meal. Have some lemons here. Sometimes I'll have lemon juice for vitamin C. And then over here we have the apples that I have with pretty much every meal. Over here on the counter, we got the pressure cooker. I use that for beans and in the winter soups. We got a toaster that I'll use to freshen up the bread and we actually have to make some bread this morning. Uh, this has been fermenting overnight, so we gotta pop this in the oven, looks pretty good. Natural sourdough fermentation. Uh, let me know guys if you want me to show you how to do this like quick and easy overnight sourdough recipe that doesn't take a while. I'm always weighing out the sourdough on the scale. These are just my cutting boards. I got salt everywhere. Steak knife, bread knife, Nutiva oil to cook with. We have that on Frankie's Strange Foods. Same with the sea salt that I put on everything. So on the other side of the counter, I just have my water key for fermentation going. This is the heating pad that only stays on for 12 hours. So I kind of have to reset it twice a day, but this should be ready in a day or two. Usually takes four or five days to ferment. Uh, this is the same water kefir and water kefir grains that we have on the foods website. If you guys want to try it out, nothing else really going on on the counter here. This house had like no ventilation. There was just a microwave here and I found this Viking hood for like a few hundred bucks online. So I bought this, had it installed, and then I got a used Viking range to go with it as well because the old oven wasn't cooking my bread properly. So we're all nice and set up with the gas range, but when I do bake the bread every morning, I have to open up like all the windows and everything. I even open the front door and blow the fan because when you operate gas, the CO2 levels in the room rise. So you want as much ventilation as possible. All right, now we'll take a look in the fridge to show you guys the rest of what I eat on a daily basis. So starting at the top, uh, we just have actually some like French fries soaking in brine. Uh, I'm going to make some steak frites for dinner on Friday night. This is more of like a special treat occasion thing, not something I usually have. Uh, there we just have some leftover petite tender, some roast beef here. Uh, these are water kefir grains that I've been eating with every meal as a probiotic. You know, sometimes I don't have like water kefir ready. So I'll actually just have water kefir grains with the meal. And here is our white bean puree. We've done a lot of videos on this, guys, but I have this as like a hummus dip for bread for lunch, and I have it as a pasta sauce on my udon noodles for dinner. It's mushrooms, artichokes, white beans, so it's a really nice balance of fiber, starch, and minerals. Again, if you guys want the recipe for this puree, just search my YouTube channel. Uh, here we have a cod filet. I've been having white fish for dinner. Also did some fish and chips. There's uh, some batter up there. Maybe we'll do that recipe tomorrow if I have the energy. And down here we have some breakfast sausage. I'll have that for breakfast every day. And then we just have some two bone and ribeye steaks that we're going to use for our steak frites tonight for dinner. And I mean, this is like bachelor pad esque. There's nothing really in this fridge besides the few things I eat. You know, we got only protein. We got breakfast sausage for breakfast. Uh, for lunch, I have the roast beef or some steak, and then for dinner, I have fish, or we're going to have the ribeye for dinner, so <laughs> there's not much in here. Uh, all this stuff over here, you know, I got my water kefir, which I will have almost every day, but like the ciders and seasonings and beer and stuff here, I don't, haven't really touched it for, for a few months now. Now, in this cabinet here, I have my udon noodles and some oats. And I feel like a broken record, but guys, pretty much everything you see in this video is available either on the meat website or the foods website as part of my diet. And then over here in this cabinet, I have uh, some vanilla that I'll put in the oats occasionally. Over here, this big 25 pound bag of cannellini beans. This is uh, what I make usually once a week for that puree. This is actually available in bulk on the website too. And for the bread, I use either the Great River Milling Flour we have on our Amazon shop or the, the white and wheat flour that we have on the foods. Now that's actually everything I eat in my current diet, but I do have some other stuff in my kitchen that I'll show you guys just for curiosity. So in those two cabinets we just opened, 
Uh, I have some leftover steel cut oats that I'll do overnight if I have time and some backup instant oatmeal, which I don't have anymore because I feel better eating this one, the plain one. Uh, this is just a spice cabinet. You know, we got some steak seasoning, beef tallow down here, and then just all my random spices and stuff. This cabinet, I have my all-purpose flour. I use that to bread the cod or fish I'm having for dinner. Uh, just a bunch of random grains in here. We got some white quinoa, Italian barley. There's some rice back there. Uh, some dried apple rings that I don't really have unless it's an emergency. They don't taste that good. There's some pancake mix. I haven't had that in a while. Uh, even though it fits with my diet, I usually get stomach issues from it. Some organic Brazil nuts here. Big bag of mastic gum to grind up. And there's some raisins back there. You know, I only have the fruit maybe rarely once a month if I run out of apples and haven't been to the store. Uh, I use the dried fruit as a substitute. Up there are some stuff I don't really use. Uh, those are ingredients for the marshmallows, the s'mores. Uh, we got some einkorn flour, which I don't really have. Uh, some old bread flour and rye flour, some cream of buckwheat, breadcrumbs, and some walnuts. So not stuff that I've been having in my diet lately. Here's kind of supplements and canned goods. So down here you guys see lemon light, flextrose, all the minerals and vitamins we have. Uh, those are some canned beans I'll use as backup, but we have the jovial glass jar beans now. Uh, I bought those before I had those on the foods website. Uh, just some nut butters, macadamia nut butter, pecan butter. Uh, there's some tinned codfish there. Uh, some light coconut milk. I don't really use any of this stuff. Uh, maybe occasionally I have the pecan butter or the macadamia nut butter with an apple if I'm really hungry. Over here we just have the molasses and the sugar I used to make my kefir and some honey and maple syrup. Sometimes I'll put the maple syrup on my breakfast sausage and I'll put the honey in the oatmeal, but most of the time I don't. So guys, all those websites can be seen on frank stefanocom Frankie Syringe Meat, Frankie Syringe Foods, Organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. You know, I'm always wearing the Wi-Fi shielding clothing, and I actually moisturized my face today because my skin's peeling really bad from getting too much sun. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining me. If you can, as always, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon.